West German defender Paul Breitner R, tries to control the ball under pressure from Algerian midfielder Mustafa Dalib during the World Cup first round soccer match between West Germany and Algeria on June 16, 1982 in Gijon. Algeria won over West Germany 2-1. AFP photo, AFP photo, AFP files, files, the 2018 World Cup is hotting up. Upsets all round and places at stake for the round of 16, this coming week is going to get intense. The final round of group games begins on Monday. If you've been following the tournament you might notice that all the final group games will kick off at the same time. If you're new to the wonderful ways of the World Cup, you might be wondering why. Well, it's been going on for a while and it dates back to something that happened at the 1982 World Cup in Spain. The disgrace of Gijón Algeria made their tournament debut then and did well, they looked set to advance to the next round having beaten West Germany and Chile. But things got nasty. West Germany were up against Austria in the final group stage. Algeria had already played theirs the day before. The African side was second on the log with four points. Austria winning or drawing would have been enough to see them progress. The match between West Germany and Austria was played at the El Malinon Stadium in Gijón and stands in football folklore as a disgrace. A win by one or two goals for West Germany would be enough for them to qualify alongside Austria, at the expense of Algeria. West Germany took an early lead and the rest of the match was, shall we say, questionable. Reports describe how the team in possession of the ball often passed between themselves in their own half until an opposition player came into the vicinity of the ball, then the ball was then passed back to the goalkeeper. Observers also criticized the behavior. German art commentator Eberhard Stanjic at one point refused to comment on the game any longer. Austrian commentator Robert Seeger bemoaned the spectacle, and requested that the viewers should turn off their TVs. The aftermath of the fallout Algerian football officials lodged an official protest and said that the referee should have intervened. FIFA, though, did not think any rules were broken. They took no action and both West Germany and Austria denied there was any collusion. And so, as of the 1986 edition of the tournament, the final group games are played at the same time to avoid such 